All right, so the video is made up of two because I press stop instead of pause. So 5,280 feet, you want the answer in inches. So we have to make a little change here. It says how many inches are in two miles? Well, first of all, it's not gonna help, gonna help our case. So we know one thing, foot equals 12 inches, inches. If I had two feet, it would be 24, three feet would be 36, so you got to multiply by 12. So I got to make, change the five, uh, 5,280. So if I have 5,280 feet and I multiply that by 12, that would give me 63,360 inches in one mile. Okay, so I'm no longer using this. Now, want to know how many inches in what? Two miles, so easy enough times 2, top times 2, and the only one that looks correct is C, 126,720. Okay. okay, next one, the doll question. Okay, so let me draw it out. Double number line, 0, 0%, 20%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%. Eighty, one hundred. So that's what you have on yours, and we know that twenty percent represents six dolls. So every twenty percent, six dolls. So another twenty percent would be another six dolls, which brings our total to twelve. Another twenty, eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty. So this is what she had in the beginning, six dolls, which represent twenty percent of our total, and that means that she has a total of. 30 dolls at home. If you want to use a proportion, this is what you knew in the beginning. Uh, you knew that 20% represented 6 dolls, which is part. So how many did she have in total? Find that. Use a, you, 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 could have, you uh, could have used this to find your answer as well. Okay. Next one I'm going to draw out. Um, it's a cube, or prism, sorry, rectangular prism. So, well that's cut in half, it's also cut in half, and that's cut into thirds, okay, one, two, three, this one's cut into four, so let's cut that, one, two, three, going that way, going that way, okay, so exactly the same as you see on your sheet of paper. So, this is one inch, this is three-fourths of an inch, and this is half of an inch. You want the volume of this? Length, 3 over 4, times width, 1 and a half, times 1. On the top you get 3, the bottom you get 8, so final answer, 3 eighths inch cubed. And then you had a part B, which was a very interesting question. They wanted to find the volume of a single cube. Let's take that cube right there. Take that little cube, bring it out. Alright, so... What's the volume of this little cube? The volume of that cube, so if you know, let's take this part right here, from here to here, which is from here to here. Well, if you know that from here to here is three-fourths, that must mean that here to here is one-fourth, there's another one-fourth, and this is one-fourth. This little thing is one-fourth. I could have stopped here, and I'll tell you why in a few but I'm going to help you find the measurements of the other sides. Here, it's half an inch going from here all the way to the back. And you have two cubes, so half of a half, of a half is one-fourth. Hopefully you see a pattern here. And the height. One inch total from bottom all the way to top. That's one inch, but divided by four, you get one-fourth. It's a cube. So you should have known that a cube has edges that measure the same. So length width and height. Once you found one, all the others were the same. Gives you 1 over 64 inches cubed. Okay. Uh, next one. It's a evaluating question. A squared plus 3b divided by c minus 2d. Substitution comes first. So 3 squared plus 3 times 8 
divided by c which is 2 minus 2 times d which is 5. Order of operation tells us to do this guy first. So we get a 9. Right? 9 plus, and we can do one, one of these. Uh, it's multiplication or division first, whichever comes first from left to right. Okay? So in this case, I can do this. 24. And I'm going to write the rest out. I'll do this a really long way. That's taken care of. Change colors. 9 stays the same. Nothing happens to it right now. We're going to do division. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Minus 2 times 5. Again, the 9 stays, and this time the 12 stays. And minus 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, so all my division and multiplications are gone. I will do addition or subtraction, whichever one comes from comes first from left to right. 9 plus 12 is, uh, I don't know, 21 minus 10. Final answer, 11. Okay. Last question. So there's two parts to this question. Okay. And let's see if I can draw this out first. So. Here. Okay. So if it's a net, you know there's a front and back, top and bottom, left and right, just like a box. It's a net of a rectangular prism. So you got six faces here, and they come in pairs. Okay. So I'm gonna use colors. So this guy right here, guess what? Is the same as this guy. Okay. And this guy right here is the same as this guy. And let's change the color. And this guy right here is the same as this guy. Okay. Now you have a key there that says each box is five feet. Okay. So we'll leave that till the end for now. So let's figure out part A. Now let's take this box right here. If you take a look at that box right there, going up, it's four, and going here. So this is a four. Oops. Let's keep it. Colors consist. This is a four by three. If that's a four by three. Ooh, not that color. Um, red, red. Okay, this is a four by three. Four going up, three. And guess what? This is also a four by three. Let's look at the one in black here. And if you count, it looks like it's a three by two. So it's a three by two. And guess what? This is also a three by two. And the ones corner here, purple. I think that's perfect. It looks like a 4x2. 4x2. And this is also 4x2. Okay. Um, so part A, which prism can be made using the net above? Look at your first prism here. Uh, at your per first rectangular prism. If you look at your first rectangular prism, let's look at the front here. This is a 3x2. Do we have a 3x2? Yes, we do. So far, so good. On the top, it's also a 3x2. Do we have another set of 3x2s? No, we don't. That one already gone. We have <coughs> three different sets here, different measurements. So if you see something that has the same measurements, it's gone. So letter C, I'm going to do this out of order. Apparently. This is a okay, letter C. You look on the top is a three by three. Do we have anything that says three by three? Stop. Gone. Letter B. Letter B it's a very like that. Thin. So if you look at the top right there, right here on the top is a two by two. Do we have anything that's a two by two? No. None of the none of our faces are two by two. So A, B, and C are gone. So that leaves us with C, with D, I'm sorry. And D works out nicely because there is, the front is a 4x3. We have a 4x3. The top is a 3x2. Do we have a 3x2? Yes, we do have a 3x2. And the side here is a 4x2. Okay, so correct answer would be D. Now, <coughs> here's the tricky part. To find a surface area, we find the area of all our sides and add them together. Here's the problem, though. It is not really a 4x3, or a 3x2, or a 4x2. 
this really a four by the four by three the rectangle that's four by three let's do it in red because that's the color okay it's four squares going let's see four squares going up and three to the right but it's not mad it's not one square is it one unit one square is 20 units five units sorry is that four by three why can't i pick red that four by three in reality is a 20 by 15 because it says that this is a 4 by 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4 squares and each square is worth 5 so we're not counting by 1's we should we have to multiply it by 5 so that 4 by 3 is really a 20 by 15 okay so 20 times 15 gives you 300 so you have a 20 times 15 but you have a 20 times 15 two times Okay, because there's two of those. Now let's do in black here the three by two. The three by two is not really a three by two. It's three, so it's five, ten, if you can. three squares, and these squares represent five, so it's a fifteen by ten, which gives you one fifty. And you have another fifteen by ten, which gives you one fifty as well. And finally, we have a four by two. And again, the 4 by 2, 4 squares, 4 squares, 5, 10, 15, 20, times 2, which is 10. And 2 means 2 squares, and 2 squares is 10, so it's a 20 by 10. That gives you 200, 200. Now, final answer, surface area, is all those numbers added together. 300 plus 300 plus 150 plus 150 plus 200 plus 200 and that's going to give us a total of let's see 3 6 9 10 11 12 13 1300 feet square okay and that's that